Hello, myself, Dr. D.K. Shedge, Professor in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering Department, ISSMS Institute of Information Technology. Today, we'll discuss about the regulated power supply. A block diagram of a regulated power supply, it will consist of a transformer, rectifier, filter, IC regulator, and a load connected will be externally to the regulated power supply. The regulated power supply have found many uses where we can uh, operate our appliances on very low DC voltage, which is derived from the AC mains available 230 volt 50 hertz AC. It's a first uh, block will be a transformer. Transformer will do a function of a step down. It can do a step down or step up, but in regulated power supply, it will be required to step down. And another important function of transformer here is isolation. Isolation from 230 volt AC mains to the uh, DC output. The output of a transformer, which is a step down AC voltage, is applied to a rectifier. The rectifier may be uh, half wave rectifier or a full wave rectifier. The rectifier converts AC into pulsating DC. Mostly uh, full wave rectifier is used. Half wave rectifier will have more uh, ripples as compared to full wave rectifier. That's why the full wave rectifier is preferred. And even under full wave rectifier, we got two center tap and a bridge full wave rectifier. Bridge full wave rectifier is uh, preferred, which will have the more transformer utilization factor. The pulsating DC output of a rectifier is applied to a filter. Filter, most commonly, it is a capacitor in shunt or it may be LC filter or it may be a pi LC filter also. Mostly capacitor in shunt is preferred as a filter which is a low pass filter a capacitor connected in shunt capacitor connected in shunt that filter converts the pulsating dc into a dc with a very low ripple and that low ripple dc is applied to ic regulator which converts that low ripple dc into a constant dc output voltage provided that Input to the IC uh, regulator is always a greater by a dropout voltage of IC uh, than the output voltage. Let us see the unregulated power supply circuit diagram. Unregulated power supply circuit diagram will have a transformer, a rectifier and then a capacitor. A transformer as usual will do a function of a step down and uh, isolation. The reg uh, rectifier here is used a bridge rectifier and then capacitor is used as a filter. The one of the performance factor of uh, this unregulated power supply or a regulated power supply is a percentage load regulation which is given as a V no load minus V full load divided by V no load voltage multiplied by 100%. Here no load means a load which does not draw any current from the unregulated power supply. And full load means is a load which will draw a rated current from the unregulated power supply. Sometimes this figure is also calculated as a V no load minus V full load divided by V full load. If it is calculated as V no load minus V full load divided by V no load, it is called as up regulation, uh, a down, sorry, down regulation, or if it is calculated as a V no load minus V full load divided by V full load, then it is called as up regulation. Mostly down regulation is preferred, which will have at the maximum 100% value. Then the unregulated power supply, the output of unregulated power supply is applied to a regulator IC, a three pin regulator IC, which is accompanied by capacitors on either sides. The function of a capacitor on input side is to avoid the transmission line effect and the function of a capacitance on output side is to improve the transient response of the regulator. The function of uh, the capacitance on uh, input side of a regulated, uh, regulator IC it is connected whenever the distance of regulator IC from filter is uh, in centimeters. It is far away from the filter. Then uh, additional capacitor is added to avoid the transmission line effects. This is about the 
regulated power supply the good regulated power supply will have very low value of percentage load regulation ideally percentage load regulation will be equal to zero thank you